So for those interested, there's a free uh, webinar out there and um, for you to enjoy and to learn a lot more how we can do it and move very fast through all that old because the old world is collapsing. Anyways, there is no return back to the old world. And so as the earth is moving faster and faster and faster uh, back into its original place in the universe, we need to move with it. If we don't move with it, what we create is a vaster split, split, split. So those who are ascending with the ascension of the earth, move with it. Those who are not ascending, move into more and more trauma and slavery, everything you see out there. And so the split shift is becoming larger and larger. So it is essential we reconnect to our source do the work, learn it, become self-masters, become strong in essence and do what it takes. Because if we look at the Kabbalah, the flower of life, which most know, becomes the power of your life. And when that is actually termed self-empowerment, which many do not understand. So rising from ego into spirit, that is the way to do it it requires the know-how the knowledge know thyself how to work with each way connected to each universe connected to each zodiac sign connected you know to every uh monthly uh, moon and sun vibration that changes all of the time so we need to release all these indoctrinations all that falseness release blockages because when we have blockages, then these ways cannot integrate. So every way, actually, we need to breathe that through for a certain amount of time. That is termed alignment. We integrate it. The same goes when we take food. We expect the minerals and vitamins to work with our body. So our body integrates that. That's the same with ways because they are actually nutrients. So reason why many living on light do not require physical foods anymore so alchemy is essentially an art that is very very precise and that starts with the meridian system that integrates the crystalline grid systems these crystalline grids are created with ley lines and links and these ley lines and links create your special space in the universe and with your special space you reconnect with other spaces universes giants um, essences um, every life uh, living light species actually so the tree of life is a system that is truly deeply embedded within us but with the old dog broken ages we need to eliminate eliminate lifetimes of uh, trauma actually so a pure essence lives from that construction that is reconstructing itself and that is essentially what i bring through in the new tree of life uh, within this 15 weeks online course in which you learn to truly purify yourself and move all the way up and where we can start our celestial, celestial, universal bodies. So it is imperative to have a foundation. Without a foundation, you get lost in the brain. You get lost in everything you do. You need a structure because the universe is structure. And the universe is at this particular moment in time reconstructing itself. So we need to reconstruct ourselves in order to be or to continue to be part of it in an immortal body that is the essence actually and so uh, we learn from each sphere which is actually a medicine wheel you can apply it as your medication in meditation and because that is what will play out in the planet and working a lot with crystals because if we think everything is made out of crystals or computers or tablets or iPhones, uh, social media, 
uh, name it. Uh, every platform, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that is made out of crystals that create algorithms. Algorithms correct, connect with this and that. And so the body does the same. So crystallizing with crystal spheres is very important because on top of crystal spheres, I have another very important crystal, I think, yes. This is a black Arkansas crystal. And when we look at that, and so that is connected to divine sources and forces and sparks energy. So that does the term, our spark needs to reconnect to a source of self to, uh, to be able to spark uh, authentic energy, to be able to manifest on the spot, to, uh, to be part of creation once again. And so it's very, very uh, important to reconnect and to understand um, the intelligence and consciousness that is embedded within crystal straight from our source. So think about that, how magical it can be, you know, to work with crystals. I've been working with crystals for more than 30 years now because that's the way i uplifted my consciousness all the way beyond the into the beyond and working with the 10 higher ways now because everything is open nothing is a mystery anymore so we learn from everything like um, if we look at that cube and we have an equilateral cross that equilateral cross is also connected to the four cornerstones of creation, north, south, east, west. And so we see that in many, many religions, spiritual vibrations as well, connected to the knights of the first orders. And so there's so much we need to remember and we learn. So um, I think reconnecting and then when we do the purification process, we st start to feel all these vibrations that come through like waves of light. And these waves of light, they open up a formula, and that could be a number uh, like 777. So when the universe gives you that and you see that crystal clear, that is something you work with and download your information from in your meditational space uh, it could be a geometric pattern you know like that's the level where I am where my light waves start to open up when I move all the way you know six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve dimension back down and up I start to see Ge geometrical patterns I saw you know a daughter cathedral and I'm so connected with the animals and I had a black raven w with pink wings on it and so I was what do I do with that you know I, I speak to them because I see them crystal clear clearing the eyes clearing the pineal clearing every gland so you become the spiritual hormonal system that is all part of it so that's quite a lot to cover but it's so interesting because it's the only way to get out of the old into where we belong or origin and uh, then I, I heard the, uh, the black wave and tell me why don't you open the door <laughs> so if you look at the door you hit one that was a green one I was why it was green green is connected to knowledge to opening new doors so and I opened and I you know I took a seat in there and it started to fly around sat in some other place which i had to study so how interesting is that if you can all do that that is manifesting with uh, parallel realities and becoming real about it not the airy fairy meditational stuff that is old and done with so uh, you see everything is connected to quantum loops and then it creates grids and these grids are in interconnected with other grids and uh, you know you could equate that like going to the disco <laughs> going to the disco show of this universe because that is what it is and you'll be surprised once you have purified self so level so you move up to the next to the next and to the next level so you become each you know each crystal sphere carries so much information 
directs you, redirects you, and directs you again every single second of the day. That is where, uh, you know, where you could be at this uh, particular moment. And then just working with languages of light come with it. English is a language of light. Latin is a uh, language of light. Hebrew is the most fun thing I've ever done. So that is what I teach after that as well. This uh, for now, uh, it's all a matter of opening this uh, the kingdoms of your own spirit, and we ne need to open that in order to reintegrate these new spheres. We need to get clear, take fast uh, uh, exercises, purify with consciousness, refine, and de when you refine. You can define yourself, you know, and that comes from know thyself, right? So the tree of life is the origin and reconnects us from the broken cords in unity. So um, that if we look at the universe, it's packed with massive, massive energy. And also in the tree of life, there is one thing I'd like to cover here again, which is very important. If we see all these crystal spheres in the tree of life, they're all interconnected with pillars of light. So these crystal spheres actually are there to teach us. And it's actually uh, the pillars of light that are created from the spheres that open up your interdimensional gates, so to speak. And that is why the old spheres in the body, meaning the chakra system, so each chakra is like a womb, yeah? a compartment, a level. And that, um, you know, creates stuck patterns. So in order to create an open flow, we let go of the old chakra system and we create all pillars of light coming back to the one because we need to return to the one. And so the pillars of light are recreated with all these 12 universes, merging the heart with the authenticity of your temple. And then you can fly anywhere you want in the universe. So uh, make sure you take your skateboard with you and make it great. So enjoy the free webinar here, learn more. Learn about if it's something for you and thank you so, so much for being with me. I hope this video was of value for you. If it was so, thank you for subscribing, liking and ticking the bell because that is geometry. That is the algorithm. If you like it, the algorithm will go fast and my videos will be seen more. So uh, now you have a greater understanding. It's your energy that matters as well because YouTube and anything on Google is made out, out of crystals and we are crystals reconnecting. So make it beautiful. Thank you so much. I appreciate um, your value and I hope uh, you move into the free webinar which gives a lot more interesting things uh, covering uh, what I couldn't cover in this video and let's shake it. Thank you. I'm Charlotte Sheep, logging out.